to begin transcribing with From the Page, there are three steps you need to take. First, you need to sign up and sign in on fromthepage.com. Second, you need to find some works to transcribe. Third, you need to actually transcribe those works. So I will walk you through each of those steps so you can begin transcribing. So the first of these is to go to fromthepage.com and sign up if you haven't already. So you will be presented with this sign up page, pretty straightforward username, email address. Um, a couple things to note here. The username as it notes underneath is that this is shown publicly. So as you make edits and transcriptions to uh, pages within the system, your username will be displayed and logged. So if you want to remain anonymous, you should not use your actual name as your username. If you don't care, you can use your first name, last name, whatever. So down here at real name, this is something that is available with some statistics exports from the owners of collections, but not something that is publicly seen. Finally, pay attention to this box here that is by default checked, which is to receive activity emails. The activity emails are digest emails that come at the end of the day that tell you a little bit about uh, items that have been added to collections that you are a collaborator on, responses to any comments you've left on particular items. That is up to you whether you want to receive those or not. It's one a day, it's not a ton of spam, but it is uh, an increase in your email. So once you've signed up, you will be able to then sign in. So you'll sign in with your email and password and click sign in. Now you're back here at the From the Page homepage. Step two is to actually find some works to be transcribing. So one way is to go to find a project, which you can then scroll down this large collection of collections and um, find ones that interest you. If you're interested in Harvard Library, you can see that we are down here. These are alphabetical, so you can click that. You could also search here by collection and owner, so you could put in Harvard. And you can see Harvard Library account with a lot of these um, sub-collections. What I would suggest you do is go to directly to fromthepage.com slash Harvard Library. That is the Harvard Library landing page for this project. Bookmark it and use this as sort of your portal into these collections. So on this page, this is a set of collections of material, and currently they are organized primarily by Colonial North America collections and organized by repository. So I'll scroll down and go to the Harvard University Archives collection, which is the one I'm most familiar with. This now is a collection page where I am looking at the works or items that are contained within a collection that are available for transcription. So you can see here under works that you have this list with a thumbnail and the title that gives you some clue about what the item is. One thing to really watch for here as you're looking for things to be transcribing is this progress bar on the bottom of each little box. So the progress bar is showing you a few things. The green indicates what percentage of this has already been transcribed. The yellow indicates what percentage of this needs review, which means it's also already been transcribed. So really, I can look at this and know that this document, it's two pages, 50% transcribed, 50% needs review, it's done. And if I looked in here, I would see, indeed, this page is blank, and someone has transcribed that page. So if I'm looking for new things to transcribe, I really want to be looking for this white bar, which means that it is 0% transcribed. You can see that noted here. So if I went into this William Bentley inventory, I can see the page is not transcribed, and I'll show you momentarily what it looks like to dive into a page and begin transcribing, which is the third step. Another way to get at materials that need transcription is this handy button here that says pages that need transcription. This will dump you into a large list of pages, and you can see the list is, you know, there's 297 pages within this Harvard University Archives collection that need transcription. This just lists them all right here and you can jump right into it. This is sort of um, messy to navigate, so I don't necessarily recommend it, but it can be a way if you don't care what you're working on to just dive right in and find a page. Also at the bottom, there is this, this um, link here, Incomplete Works. If you click that, 
that will now filter out the ones that are fully complete. It, it doesn't fully figure out that needs review is also transcribed, so this isn't perfect either. But it will at least get rid of the ones that are 100% transcribed. Ultimately, I would recommend that you use the collection dashboard here. Look for things that interest you, and some, and some works within a collection will have descriptive text here and help you navigate and think about what you might want to transcribe. So if I'm looking through here, let me jump forward a bit. I could see this title and think that that is really interesting, something about this Narragansett farm. That gets me in here. I see that it's not been transcribed, and I will click on the first page. This is the primary interface by which you do your actual transcription, which is the third and most important step, which is engaging with these and transcribing them and transcribing what you see. So a couple things about this. It's a pretty straightforward interface. On the left, you have the page itself, and you can zoom in, zoom out, move it around, do whatever you need to do. And on the right, you have a box that takes text so you can transcribe. So I, for instance, might look at this and I can see, I'm actually gonna start here. I see that that is the name David. So I would type David L Barnes. And let's say I wanna take a break. I can just hit save changes and it has saved these and I can come back to this later and transcribe or someone else can come back to it later. So you can see now if I'm on this item, it does show that transcription that I've added. And this is open for somebody else to come in and continue the transcription. So that's really how you get started transcribing. In another video, I will talk a little bit about some of the tricky things you might encounter or ways to think about conventions for transcribing.